Hello, it's XX Redstone for all here, and I am showcasing my new Redstone CPU. And, well, it's not totally finished yet. I haven't done the control unit, but I have everything else. So, I think it's ready to be shown in a video, and that's why I'm doing a video. So, first I'm just going to show you the different parts of it before we do anything with it. This uh, right here is the ALU. And my ALU can add, subtract, and it can do all Boolean logic functions um, because it can NOR. And you can program all logical functions with just a NOR. Um, it's a pain in the butt, but you know... You can, so it has all logical functions. Um, yeah. On either side of this mound here uh, are the registers. They're basically just RAM in the CPU, so you can do more complex equations. Um, I have eight registers on each side, uh, eight bits in each. Okay. Um, in the middle is just a lot of busing, and I have my inputs with levers right here. So, let's give a demonstration. Let's pick two random numbers, so like 15 and 23, how about? Um, and... Uh, what function should we do? Let's see. Um, let's add, because that's easy, and you know, addition's awesome. Yeah. Uh, first, we have to save these to the registers, and you'll notice that 15 has been saved right here. And let's read it. 15 is reading out, and we can flip these off because it's in memory. And then that 23 will write to this slot. And you'll notice all the way down there that this one 23. And let's read it. And that's what we get at. Okay. So, we're reading both of them into the ALU. Now, what we do is I have selected addition. And so the output should come out right here. And we got 38, which is the right answer. So that part's working. Yay. I'm awesome. Okay. Um, next part, because since you could just do that with a normal ALU or something really simple, and that's not so impressive, let's actually show off what the registers and stuff can do. Um, we're going to take that equation, and so we're going to do 15 plus 23 minus uh, 7. How about that? Or minus 11. So when we, might, uh, when we subtract 11, we should get 27. So let's first just take this off the inputs. Oh, and you'll also notice that the output is coming up from there and up here, where the bus is transported to both of the registers. So I can save the output to the registers, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select it and have it read in here and write it. And you'll notice down there. It has hopefully written. Let's see what's wrong. Oh no, wait. It, it has. It has. Okay. So, it's written, and let's stop reading this. And this, because, you know, they're old. We don't need them anymore. They're like uncool now, okay? Yeah. Um. Let's read this, 
And so it's reading out there. And then let's subtract. Hmm, what should we subtract from? Let's subtract. Oh, yeah, we already decided 11. Okay, okay. So, 11. Oh, wait, we need to save it. It's kind of irritating I have to save everything. There, and let's read it. And, but we don't want to do addition, we want to do subtraction, so we're just going to hit this lever here. And hopefully we should get 27. Let's see what we get. We get 16 plus 11, which is 27. Hooray! It works. It's it's amazing. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the reason it's all funky here and not very organized is because I had it all nice and neat, and then I realized it didn't work. So at the last minute, I just threw something together and it turned out to look like this. So. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video.